we have a triangle ABC that we have to reflect across the y-axis. There's a couple of different methods for achieving this. One method is to simply use the coordinate plane itself to do the reflection. Before reflecting this object across the y-axis, let's make sure we first know where the y-axis is. On a coordinate plane, the y-axis is the line which goes up and down. We must make sure that our object is reflected across that line. Now, let's take a look at point C. Notice that point C is exactly four units to the left of the y-axis. So just take point C and move it four units to the right of the y-axis. That's the new location of point C. Point B is located four units to the left of the y-axis as well. So make sure to do the opposite and move it four units to the right of the y-axis. Take a look at point A. Point A is located seven units to the left of the y-axis. So let's simply move it seven units to the right of the y-axis. And we have found the three new locations of point A, B, and C to reflect it across the y-axis. Now, let's write down the ordered pairs of the new points. Point A is located at positive seven, negative six. Point B is located at positive four, negative six. And point C is located at positive four, negative two. Now let's compare our new points to the old points. As you take a look, the absolute value of each of the coordinates stayed exactly the same, meaning that A had an absolute value of seven and six, and when we changed it, the number still stayed seven, six, but there was one thing that did change. Take a look at each of the x values. All of the x values were negative, and after we reflected the object, all of the x values became positive. That brings us to a rule. Whenever we reflect anything across the y-axis, all of the y values will remain the same, the number as well as the sign. But for the x values, the sign will become opposite of what it was before. So for point A, it was negative seven, and it turned into positive seven. B and C were both negative four, and we changed those both into positive four. Now let's use the same rule to reflect triangle ABC across the x-axis. The same rule will apply, except for when reflecting something across the x-axis, it's the x values which will remain the same. And it is the y values that we will have to change the sign to the opposite of what it was. So let's just rewrite all the x values exactly the same. Negative seven, negative four, and negative four. Now, let's take all of the y values. Because each of the y values were negative, simply turn them positive. So instead of negative six, negative six, and negative two, we now have six, six, and two. Now we have the location of the three new points when reflecting our original triangle across the x-axis. Now let's plot each of the ordered pairs. The new point A is going to be located at negative seven, positive six. The new B location is at negative four, positive six. And point C is located at negative four, positive two. And when you connect all of the dots, we have our new right triangle ABC, which was reflected across the x-axis.